So you want to build a tire, but all you can find is these lame all season loser tires. I need a proper tire, like a semi slick R888 Toyo Proxy. So the first thing we need to do is make a plane and mirror it. Then the next thing we need to do is design the tread. This is what mine looks like. I won't waste your time. Then the next thing we need to do is add an array modifier and we need to set it to the Y axis. Then we need to go into object mode and add a circle so that now we can add the curve modifier to our tread. And we need to set this to minus Y. If you experience a gap, you just need to scale it to close it. After this, the next thing we need to tackle is the tire. So make a circle and make it 18 inch big and model a tire from it. It's simple enough, I won't waste your time. Simply use G and Z to match the tread to the tire. Line everything up and blend the edge of the tread into the tire. Next, we need to put the solidify modifier on the tread so that it's got a bit of depth and we can put the auto shade smooth on. You can add a subdivision modifier to the tire to help smooth it in as well. So by now, you should have something that looks like this. Now we can move on to part two, the shading. So first thing we need to do is apply all the modifiers and add a colour to both the tread and the tyre. Next we need to select the sidewall. Open up the UV editor and unwrap that sidewall. Import an image by opening here and recenter and place your image in the UV editor. Open the shader editor now, add the texture and add a bump map and connect to the normals and invert it. And don't forget to make sure to switch it from normal to height. And finally, all we need to do now is add a colour ramp into the base colour and change the colours so that the tie is dark and the letters are white. And last of all, quickly chuck a nice texture through a colour ramp and into the roughness. Make sure to turn the scale up fairly high and it should give you that appearance of rubber. And there you go, there's a tyre. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in cars and Blender. There's going to be lots more car content coming soon. Bye bye.